In today's video, we're going to look at what it is, the best ways to book it, do a room tour, take a look at the gym, VIP lounge, and also my suggestions for the property credit. Big favor before we dive in, give this a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And if you are new here, consider subscribing. RES Sky Suites is a Forbes five-star triple A five diamond hotel. In 2019, it was rated the number one best hotel in Las Vegas and also the entire state of Nevada. In the past, it's been listed as one of the most luxurious hotels in the world by Forbes, so pretty fancy. In terms of location, it is centrally located between Bellagio and MGM Grand, making it pretty walkable. In terms of booking, sadly, there's not really any way to get outsized value using points, so I probably would save your points for something else. What we did and what I'd recommend you to do is to book through American Express FHR, Final Town Resorts. You have access to this with the Platinum Card and Up, and you get a ton of benefits with this. The big one for this property is that you get a $100 experience credit per stay for food and beverages. You also get daily breakfast for two, which is $30 per person, so 60 in total. Space available upgrades, but those tend to work a bit better for the lower level properties where you can get upgraded to a suite. One I really like, especially for Vegas, and it's pretty valuable, is guaranteed 4 p.m. late checkout. In terms of pricing, you can generally find this for as low as $700, which is pretty expensive, Mandy and I ended up stacking a few credits just to make the out-of-pocket a bit more reasonable. Also, I figured that it's easier for me to take a hit and share it with you guys. That way you can see if it's worth it. And maybe if it's not, then save some money yourself. For the booking, we ended up using the $200 one-time travel credit for keeping the Platinum card during the mess of 2020 and I guess right now as well. Side note, hopefully we get more credits. We also ended up triggering the $200 hotel credit that comes with the Platinum card. 7 minus 2 minus 2 is 300. I'm actually going to subtract the $100 dining credit, the experience credit, just because we used it at Din Tai Fung and we would have gone there anyways. As a bit of proof for that, we ended up going to Din Tai Fung the night beforehand when we were staying at Bellagio and we were paying out of pocket. If you count the $60 breakfast credit as well, that's about $140 out of pocket. So definitely still quite a splurge, but I think it might be worth it for an anniversary trip or for a birthday. Or if you're doing a bachelor or bachelorette party and you want a cool HQ. Reminder that there are a ton of properties in Vegas under FHR that are a lot cheaper than this. For example, a $200 credit would cover something like the Bellagio or Croxford. Both end up also giving you $100 to $125 in food for that one night stay, along with $60 in breakfast. So you're looking at something like $160 to $185 in food for that booking. If you're trying to maximize the number of nights you get, I'd look at the Conrad and Delano. Same thing with the credits, if you were doing a one night stay, you're looking at 160 to 185 in food, and you can do some strategic things there if you have a player too. If you're someone considering the Platinum card, we do have a calculator on our site that helps you evaluate these credits to make sure that it makes financial sense. If you're someone new to American Express, or even if you're not, I'd recommend checking Card Match to see if you have the 150K elevated offer, and I'll put a blog post down below for that. If you wanna learn about cards and you want to support the channel, we have links on our site, asksebi.com, and also down below in the description box. As always, thank you guys in advance and huge way to support the channel. Let's actually start with the view first because I think it's pretty awesome. We are facing the strip. So you see Park MGM over there, MGM Grand in the distance over there. Conrad is right up here. Cosmo Shopping Malls. That's actually the Waldorf Astoria. Sorry, mixed that up. Conrad is in the new building. I would say there are some better nighttime views of the strip if you go to the Bellagio or Cosmo, but this isn't too bad at all. We did end up booking into the normal Sky Suite and ended up getting upgraded to a one bedroom penthouse. This is the living room area. A Little bit messy because we are packing up right now. Giant TV over there that we did not use. And I'm a pretty big fan of the art. I'm very tempted to decorate my house in the same exact way. You could argue that a lot of this is pointless, but it just looks really cool. Couch was surprisingly comfortable because I did end up sleeping on it because the bed situation was a little bit different and I'll talk about that in a second. Some more books down here. There is a little corner if you wanna do some work. I probably spent more time than I should have in this corner. This is the front area and we are in room 56010. This is the outside. I also really like the lights. Walking in, it's a pretty nice aesthetic. The first thing you see is the bathroom. This reminds me of a YouTuber ring light because of how bright it is. Probably gonna be a bit too much, but yeah, you get the idea, super bright in here. There is no shower though. Some other suites in some other properties do have showers in their guest room. Pretty simple, but does the job if you don't want your guests going into the main bedroom. This area, oh, let's fix the coloring. This area we already explored pretty efficiently, but here's another pan. There are a lot of options, so you can be pretty specific with it whether you want the drapes closed, shears closed, or some other mix in between. This is the living room area and pardon the mess, trying to finish up some work and get out of here. TV back here as well. 
didn't really use it for its intended purpose. I don't think we really sat in the living room or I guess the dining room desk, but it looks pretty fancy. Some cool art and another view of the strip. Pretty much the same view, but long, long, long room. Final area is going to be the bedroom as well as the master bathroom. So you see a king size bed over here. From what I've heard, it was pretty comfortable. So in case you wonder what happened, I came with Mandy and my sister also tagged along. So they ended up taking the bed, but couch wasn't too bad either. We'll have two chairs here and some additional little pieces. I'm a fan of this design. One thing I really like about the property is that they actually have a lot of plugs. Some older ones just don't have USB plugs or they don't have enough power plugs. I'm not sure what this is, but it looks really cool. I think this is supposed to be a fossil. Last section is the bathroom. There are two different doors here and it's pretty gigantic. So first off is the vanity where my sister decided to spend a lot of time. Tub, we didn't really use. It is a bit tough if you're with like a sister here because the bathroom doesn't really close as much as you would like. Actually, let me show you an example. So right over here is the toilet. Here is me sitting on the toilet. And I'm pretty sure you can see a pretty, pretty obvious silhouette. There is Mandy, double vanity. One thing I really like too is that they had a lot of amenities. A lot of other places just don't really bother. They make you pretty much call it up or they'll just try to charge you. Here, there's almost everything you would expect. Makes a lot of sense though that they would include it given what the product is. For the shower, there is a steaming mechanism. Maybe someone just left it on. Pretty steamy in here. I think someone just left it on. Good water pressure, good heat. I like that there's not really any mineral showing. So kind of a dumb one, but a lot of other properties just have these nozzles where you see all the mineral debris and it just looks really grimy when you're showering. There is a bidet toilet. Be careful about opening it when it's cleaning itself because it sprayed me before. It is heated and I'm a fan. I'm not gonna press buttons because it's going to squirt me. Awesome toilet. There she is again doing the same thing. Gigantic closet that they have somehow actually fully utilized, which is pretty amazing to me. One of the really cool perks of Sky Suites is that they have their own little VIP lounge area. Pretty good place to sit down and either relax, work, or meet other people. For example, we ended up meeting up with Brandon from Investment Joy, who runs one of the biggest TikTok and YouTube channels. So if you've ever seen a vending machine video, that's probably him. It's a pretty cool place to chat before we went upstairs to film the Creator Capitalist video where we walked through his background and what his goals are moving forwards. There's two high-end coffee machines there, so they can make a ton of different drinks, and they also have a ton of different other options for cold stuff, whether it's water, soda, or juice. During the morning and also throughout the day, there's items like croissants. In the afternoon, they add some happy hour type items, and they also have wine. Given how noisy and hectic Vegas is and how everyone kind of wants to get your money, this is a nice change of pace. If you're staying at Aria Sky Suites, there is a gym, but it's shared with the rest of Aria. Pretty standard for the most part, but one thing I really liked is that they have a rock climbing wall. As you can see, I was having a lot of fun, and yeah, quite a workout. For the $100 experience credit, so the food and beverage one, we ended up using it at Din Tai Fung. Also known as DTF, this is a Chinese restaurant that originated in Taiwan, and they're known for their soup dumplings. If you're someone who's never had soup dumplings before, I think it's definitely worth a try, and one of my favorite restaurants there. If you've been to Din Tai Fung before, I think it's fine. Pricing feels a little bit more aggressive, but it is what it is, and it scratches the itch. I'm probably also biased because the closest one to me is about an hour drive away. Again, if you want to learn about cards, whether it's American Express or some other issuer, we have links on our site, asksebi.com, and also down below in the description box. I think this is a pretty awesome room. I think you could easily have a lot of fun with either two people and having a romantic getaway or inviting some friends over for maybe a birthday party or something, given how large it is. Definitely enough room to entertain given the size and also how it looks. Also, in case you're wondering about the mess in the back and why there's so many drinks, one of the reasons is because there's a lot of snacks that you can get downstairs. So unlike a lot of other Vegas properties where they just try to make a lot of money off you from the snacks, they actually have stuff here. Hence all the messy bottles of water and everything everywhere. So that's the room tour and hopefully it was helpful. My question for you guys is what are your thoughts on this and would you consider staying here? Obviously it depends on the price, but if the price was right, is it something you would try to experience? Let me know and everyone else know in the comments down below. If you liked it, thumbs up. And if you know anyone else, share this with them, probably help them out. Otherwise, hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time.